Are alcohols actually making you fat? So recently on my show, I had a lady call in and she wanted to know why she gained four pounds of weight after she did a keto meal. She cooked for her family. I think it might've been Thanksgiving. She had the meal and then she had the chocolate chip cookies and she was using alternative sweeteners, sugar alcohols, but she still gained four pounds. So let's talk about that. For those of you that are new to sugar alcohols, let, this would be an example, erythritol, xylitol. There's a whole bunch of them. I'll put a link down below for more information, but these are compounds that are sweet and they're derived from sugar, but they don't have the same response as sugar. They don't spike insulin. And they also have less calories. For example, sugar calories has four calories per gram. These have 1.3 to two, possibly three calories per gram. So the three big side effects from sugar alcohols are bloating, gas, and diarrhea. These usually happen when you consume excessive amounts, anything over like 25 grams. But some people are very sensitive to them. And if they just consume like 10 grams, they can get diarrhea. So there's another difference between sugar and sugar alcohol. Sugar gets absorbed in the small intestines 100%. Sugar alcohols do not get absorbed in the small intestine. Now think about it. You have 23 feet of tubing or piping or plumbing before it hits the large intestine. So sugar alcohols are dealt with by microbes in the large intestines. And then that's where you may have a reaction if you consume too much. So you have this compound, this sugar alcohol, that is absorbed slowly through the system, but the microbes can ferment it, and that's where you get the gas. Okay, so there's the microbes are trying to eat it and they can start producing some of the gas and create a lot of water retention. This is before the diarrhea, okay? So when you gain weight, when you consume foods with sugar alcohols, it's water weight, it's not actual fat. Other people can consume them in smaller amounts. But if you're finding that you continue to gain weight, every time you do this, you're gonna to have to avoid them. So it's really a situation, you're gonna to have to test the waters. Some people can consume these without any water retention. They can still lose weight. Other people cannot. But the big point I wanna bring up about sugar alcohols is that you're not gaining fat. You are retaining fluid. Completely different situation. So all of these desserts made with sugar alcohols are really meant to help you in the transition coming off sugar. There's gonna be a point when you don't need them anymore because you have no more cravings. So for my reality, using sugar alcohols is really a temporary thing. It's not a long-term solution. All right, thanks for watching. Hey guys, I'm not sure if you have my app yet, Dr. Berg app, it's totally free. You should download it. Okay, this is what it looks like. You click it, it gives you all sorts of great resources. I have all my YouTube videos on this app, okay? And it's regularly um, uploading the most recent ones. All the YouTube videos are also converted to audio versions, okay? So you can use it when you're walking, exercising, driving your car. I have a mini course on there. I'll be putting additional courses. I have a lot of recipes on there. This is new and also PDF resources. So there's various downloads, PDFs that you can get as well. And if you wouldn't mind, after you download it, check it out. Give me your unbiased review and tell me how you like it. I want to know.